Okay. New favorite episode. <laughs> I thought, well, it's still Jack of the, the, the Incest one was messed up, but this was uh, on its own kind of level of messed up for this episode. Uh, we got more lore. So now we know that even if you ask them the question, if the spirit is smart enough, it can take the memories from the person and it'll, it can pa uh, get past that questioning uh, if you're the same person. So can't trust that to be a liable form of uh, knowing if someone's possessed or not or taking over. And we also know now that even if you get the spirit out. If you can't find, or the spirit of the person, the original person is gone, then they just dead at that point. Even if you get the new spirit, uh, uh, the spirit out. So, and now we know the name of the blonde-haired uh, shaman is uh, Oaklewood, who is possessed by a spirit. And it's happening more and more, apparently. And they're getting better at it, apparently, too. So, you know, we come here with Katero, Yayawi, and Echo come to the place they said they was going to come to. And then we run into the woman that was with the other uh, shaman. Found out that she used to be on TV. So, the fact that they, uh, she, clearly did have a give. It wasn't like a hoax. I don't know if the T-Show was necessarily one, but she clearly actually had abilities. And now we know that the spirits can use those abilities that the person had after taking their body. And then, and that these spirits, the stronger they are, the more they can use like different kinds of abilities that even Echo can't see past. Because apparently this, kid was using reflections from the water and all these things to make it seem like he was a living being which tr tricked uh, Yawi's eyes. The cat, you also know that Katero could sense that something was off with the lady. He wasn't sure about it. I mean, she got off though at, by the end. That, that was just wild. So, that's not even a problem. The spirit's still probably still around. It's going come back, I, I think, because it's like, I just got this body, so it's, it, I don't think the spirit was destroyed, so that could come back, but also, this kid, what happened to him, that was just, and this was strong, but this is just, it's also nice to see, uh, see Keitaro being more outgoing, even though in this situation, it didn't play out <laughs> right, <laughs> he tried to be helpful, <laughs> It's starting to backfire. I mean, he ain't get attacked yet, but the kid is. I mean, the kid was traumatized and murdered, so it's understandable that even after death, he sees everyone as his mom, his little stepmom, and and he's been taking out all these people that's come here and hanged them. It's messed up, but I get how it turned out this way. But I don't know how they're going to fight this. And apparently he's hungry because he didn't know that those meatballs was what they were until after uh, this new level of messed up and traumatized. <laughs> I don't know how this fight's going to go. Or and will we catch him and put him into the... Oh, what kind of thing he's what's this gonna be his thing? We see what the soldier's thing was, and what's gonna be his hangings, I guess. I mean, I don't know the meatballs, I guess. And I wonder if we'll be able to calm him down. I don't know. Best episode, though, so far. Best episode.